There are two main ways we can find the ionic charge for Mg here, magnesium. One is to use the periodic table, look at the trend for ionic charge. Another, look at electron configurations. Let's look first at the periodic table, and we can see that there's a trend for ionic charge. Group 1, 1 plus. Group 2, all of these elements in group 2 have a 2 plus ionic charge. And magnesium, right here, is in group 2. So its ionic charge is 2 plus. And you can see that the trend continues across the periodic table. We do skip the transition metals here and some of these, and we end up with the noble gases, which have a full outer shell, and they don't have a charge. To write the electron configuration for magnesium, as it's found on the periodic table, just Mg, note that we have 12 protons. This is the atomic number, 12 protons, so we'll have 12 electrons. So let's remember that, then write the electron configuration. We'll start with the first energy level, 1, and the orbital, the s orbital. We can put 2 in there. Then we move to the second energy level, have an s, put 2 there, 2p, that can hold up to 6. So we've used 10. This energy level is full. We go to the 3s and s, they can hold up to 2. So if we put 2 in here, 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 6, 10, 12. So we've used all 12 electrons for magnesium. So this is the electron configuration. When magnesium forms chemical bonds, it will actually lose these electrons in the highest energy level. So these electrons, if it bonds to say something like chlorine or oxygen, it'll give these away to that other atom and form the ionic bond. So these are gone. That means we've lost two electrons. Electrons are negative, so we've lost two negative charges. We're two plus, which is the ionic charge for magnesium. When it loses these, underneath the second energy level here, both of these twos, they have 6 plus 2, 8. This is a full shell, so this is really stable. This is like the noble gas neon. And that's why magnesium has a 2 plus ionic charge. It loses these two valence electrons. So either way, you can use the periodic table to find the ionic charge for magnesium, or you can use the electron configurations. It ends up to be Mg2+. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.